hi guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to tell you how you can work with Google Maps with the Swift language it's very easy it's not difficult just create a new project or if you have already exist a existed project you can work on that I'm going to work through pod library so first of all I'm going to install the pod into my project perfect I just copy the path of my folder and I'm pasting here with the command CD now I'm going to run a command pod in it and pod install this both command will install the pod library successfully into your project now I'm opening the project which is generated by pod install library Yeah. Now I'm going to import Pod Google Maps library into my project so that I can work with Google Maps easily. Open terminal. And write the command pod install. This will successfully install the Google Maps library into your project. It's not that much difficult. It's very easy. Just follow the study things into your project. Perfect. Up to now everything is going well. Now I'm building that project to watching that. Now the very more important steps in your project. You have to create the Google APIs key for your project I will let you know the URL of Google Map API first see create you have to create that it will automatically create from the backend side you don't need to do anything just click on that button now perfect maps SDK for iOS application that's perfect here you need to create the API key that is the final step this is your API key for now this API key is not restrict to any application anyone can come and use this API key if you want to restrict this is the URL complete URL where you have where, from where you will get that API key <coughs> and that what I am telling this API key up to now anyone can use in their project so you have to restrict that API key so that uh, no one can use that API key copy the bundle ID and paste on developer perfect now that API key only you can use that now copy and <coughs> get into your project import google maps now register yeah perfect now register your project with google developer console services dot provider yeah paste your key just copy and paste there <coughs> something scratching my neck perfect now let's take a view where you have to show the google map and set the constraint 0 0 from all the side then it will cover the whole screen of your mobile you can customly do anything whatever you want you can give your buttons like zoom zoom out whatever you want assign the class this step is very important don't forget to assign a class to the view now let's take a outlet into the controller perfect give any name whatever you want I'm giving google underscore map
let's back to the view controller and import the google maps okay perfect now do some modification first of all take a camera view this is camera for google maps like zoom where you have to show and in that I'm taking the daily latitude and longitude this is a static for now your camera perfect now I'm creating a function which will show the marker on the map here I'm taking nothing yeah position where I where I have to show the marker yes CL degree yeah now I'm going to call that function google maps dot target or google maps dot camera dot target that's perfect now let's create a marker with the class this is predefined class gms marker marker dot position equals to position which i have sent marker dot title daily marker dot snip capital of daily daily is the title and capital of daily is the sub description marker while whenever you will tap onto the red marker then you will see that information now assign marker dot map equals to google map and try to build its success yeah let's see the output here you can see the marker if you click on the marker you will find that information perfect awesome so this is your google view, view uh, google view first step has been clear now we will move forward to the next step next step we are going to do some modifications let's take a extensions delegate of delegate method of gms map view and there are lots of method we can import here first of all we are going to import did tap method on info window let's you have to capture the click function whenever you click on the information window so this function will called i will show it's not that much difficult you can even you can understand with the name of the function here you can see did tap info on window so whenever you click on window daily oh something wrong i think oh i forgot to set the delegate to the map view yeah delegate equals to self yes perfect now try to build and see the output yes here you can see the output click on marker now let's see the another function another function is uh, long press on the window if you are going to do any thing if you are thinking to do on a long, long press on the window then you can perform here it will run if you are pressing for a long time on the window everything is depend on the requirement what is your requirement i'm just telling you the some basic function see this is the long press on window and this is normal click 
so everything is in your hand nothing is impossible in google map and now let's uh, do some modifications on a window if you want to do if you want a custom window then you can design your own it's also perfect here I'm going to design a custom window with the frame and I will assign 0 0 0 and width will be constant for me and height also else is depend on you whatever you want to give you can give and set the background color as a white I'm just uh, trying to copy the original window that's it because the, uh, that's not my requirement if you have any requirement you can design your own window whatever you want I just set the corner radius 6 and let's uh, give the title label also with the frame and uh, create a react dot init same to same whatever you did for UI view but here will be some padding and margin so from x8 and y8 and width will be 88 16 so it's not a self view it's normal view dot frame dot width minus 16 and height let's say uh, take 15 k give the text hi there it's enough i think hi there is enough just hmm. i'll remove all the things hi there let's come into new line and uh, add this uh, title label to the view now see the output now try to build that the title that was a mistake return view return view because this is a return type function so you have to return that view let's see yeah, this is my custom view what, uh, what I have created so you can create your own window if anyone want to click and you want to show something different so you can design now let's do some more modification like draggable if you are dragging on the google map so if you want to fetch like start dragging and dragging there are lots of functions in the tutorial so you can find like whatever you want to do here I'm going to integrate like start and and begin dragging so this is to begin dragging whenever you start the dragging it this function will call continuously while you are drag each and every time now another function is did drag means every time it will call when you dragged you can see each and everything this is some basic function you can print and see uh, which function is calling at what time start dragging and dragging and even the name also show the extension for all these things so it's very easy not that much difficult go through and start dragging and now you'll see which function see it's did drag means it's continuously called the function and add dragging also whenever you left the leave the marker then add dragging will call okay so that was all the basic function now I'm going to create one more function. I'm just going to uh, draw a circle around of the marker.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need to create as a global. <coughs> Copy and paste here and make as a where. Because here we have to do some modification. And this function, tab function, will return you the coordinate of a uh, current position. Copy and paste. Yeah, here you will receive current coordinate of a, a function. Hmm, perfect. Now we'll do something else with that. Yeah, for now everything is working fine. Now I'm going to do some more modifications and I'm going to draw a circle around to the marker create a circle position this is a position now I'll take a circle and this is the default function like GMS circle now here I'll take a position where I have to draw circle point this is uh, taken from the marker and the radius is um, thousand thousand is a kilometer nothing else you can take anything what we want I forgot to call this function at on readily yeah, on marker shield. Mm -hmm. Try run and build, see the output, whatever is come. Yeah, perfect. Try to zoom it. Okay, okay, great, great, great. Yes, see, this is thousand radius circle. Oh, sorry, it's not a kilometer, thousand kilometers, it's not a kilometer, it's something else. Hmm. Now, let's do some more modification with that. Mm. Increase the zoom. Let's take in 19 and now build. Yeah, you can see the zoom view of your map. Even you can do the same thing on button click. You can take any button like. Uh, at the very top right, top left, wherever you want to zoom the map functionality. Now I'm going to decrease the size of a radius so that you can easily see. Run the code and see the output. Yeah, perfect. You can see a radius with the zoom view. You can do more zoom, whatever you want. So guys, that was the tutorial about Google Maps with the help of Swift language. And here I have so how you can use that with the help of Pod library itself. So that was the basic and very simple example. You can do more modification, whatever you want. Nowadays, lots of application completely based on Google Maps like Ola, Uber, and lots of zoom car itself and the tracking over its also there are lots of application which is completely based on google Maps. so guys learn more and do study more about the google maps and achieve your heights thank you for watching that video if you like the video just subscribe the channel and share the video with your friends thank you guys